Namaste. Welcome to Numinous Wishes. This is a new session about shamanic healing and shamanic music from the land of mysticism, Peru, uh, the, the way of Pachamama. Our today's facilitator is Sophia. I'm handing over this session to herself. She will give more insights about herself and the program. Welcome, Sophia. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you very much for the invite. Thank you to all of you, to your beautiful hearts for being here. Uh, thank you to the sun. Thank you to the moon. Thank you to Pachamama for holding us mm -hmm. in this time, in these um, very beautiful times to connect to each other, to connect our hearts one to one. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, my name is uh, Sofia Buchuk. I come from Cusco, Peru, which is in the highlands of Peru. Mm -hmm. I come from between the Andes and the jungle, the rainforest. Mm -hmm. My medicine name is Iyanquilla, which means the light of the moon. And mm -hmm. it's very close to Machu Picchu, which is a very sacred uh, Apu, which is Apu is the mountain that has an spirit and the spirit of the mountain uh, protect us. So I am at the moment in London. I came also to visit some family, also mm -hmm. to do some ceremonies here, especially with uh, medicine music. Mm -hmm. And uh, we work with the spiritual path of the Inca, the Tawanting Suyu spiritual path. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, so please. this is a very ancestral path. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're going to share a Napaikui, which is to say, to send greetings to all the way to India with these mm -hmm. coca leaves. It's very sacred for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, we like to say thank you to Grandfather Sun, thank you to Mother Moon, thank mm -hmm. you to Pachamama, thank you for the air, thank you to Father Air, thank you to Mother Water, thank you to Mother Pachamamita, thank you to Father Fire for the fire of our hearts. Thank you to India, sending so much blessings to each person who is watching us, to your hearts. And um, saying thank you very deeply for all that we receive in this time and all the times. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So um, always we salute like this because for us in our tradition, it's very important to say thank you every day to Mother Earth, to Mother Water, to Father Fire, to Father Wind, because they are the givers of love. We also in Hindi uh -huh. say thanks by mm -hmm. uh, by bowing the hands and also by at the end by saying Om Shanti yeah. Shanti Shanti. This is how we do it. So uh -huh. this, is this is almost similar. We say we say thank you by bowing the hand and then also at the end of anything we say Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. So we oh, have sorry. almost similar you know tradition which is rooted long 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 back. Please continue. Yes. So this is very important for us because without air, you can't live not even one <laughs> minute. We need air, grandfather air all the time. Mm -hmm. So I've been walking this path for many, many, many years. I've been learning from my teachers. I specialize in um, the plant medicine. Mm -hmm. And that is mainly from the jungle, the people from the jungle, because we have so many different trees and trees and trees and plants and plants, and the many mm -hmm. multi universes of plants mm -hmm. to heal different illnesses from cancer, even mm -hmm. to cleanse their blood for women who want to have babies to clean the womb. I have mm -hmm. a very special dieta to clean the womb. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, many women want to have babies and they have to be preparing the womb for fertility, mm -hmm. but also to clear the blood because in the blood we have so many lineages as well. Sometimes in the lineage we inherit madness or addictions or even madness or even, um, sorry, illnesses with the liver or cancer even. So when you cleanse the blood, then the baby is going to be prepared to not inherit these shadows, but to come like a child of light. And in the Tawantins, we use pre Inca even cultures, but we have so many cultures in Peru. We have so many schools of shamanism. So you cannot do everything because if you do everything, you have very little experience, depth of yeah. experience. And so if you specialize with one medicine, let's say Mother Ayahuasca, for example, yeah. Yeah. then uh, you have to also know about other plants because some people 
they want to come to ceremony to do the plant medicine, which the plant medicine brings you consciousness as well, makes you aware. Mm -hmm. And we are living in such a time at this moment in this uh, portal of 2020, 2022 was a very powerful po portal for the mm -hmm. priestess of the divine feminine to come back to the earth. Yeah. But also in the Inca uh, uh, spirituality, the Tawain Tisuyu, mm -hmm. um, for us is the return to the earth, the Pachacutin, the same way that the Toltecs, the Six Sun, the return to the Six Sun, mm -hmm. for us the return to the earth. But yeah. it's not only returning to the earth, it's also is returning to the earth a consciousness? What do we wear in the clothes? Are they natural? Who are we empowering the way we buy our clothes? What are we eating? Because what we eat is also medicine. What we see, what we hear, everything is medicine. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, in the Tawantin Suyu, also the Ayu, so we create communities. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing this every week with my uh, people for all Latin America Spanish speakers or anywhere in the world who want to enter for free in the Zoom on, on Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. It's Yachaiwasi. We share all these Inca codes, how to live in equilibrium with Mother Earth. Yeah. So we have seven arrow codes. And these seven arrow codes, they mm -hmm. teach us how to step out of the... Well, all, of, of all these manufactured society basically and to return to the earth to live with the codes of uh how to value yourself being, being um, with the nature more more close to the nature if i say yes right. but it's also close to the nature but also is learning from because the inca the toltecs they are from lemuria you know the lemurian times so the the lemurian wisdom before they believe um, in the connection that we're not only connected to Mother Earth, but also to the stars mm -hmm. and the multigalactic beings and the water and how the blood is an electromagnetic connection with everything. Mm -hmm. So um, it's very beautiful because also we learn their retribution. So one hand gives and mm -hmm. the other receives. Mm -hmm. So you go to... We have to look after Mother Earth if we want to call her mother, you know, because otherwise it's a poem, but it doesn't have legs. It has to be walked. So shamanism is basically protect and get protected by the nature. Like we protect the nature and get protected by the nature. So it is like yes. give and take in a very natural yes. way. Yeah. It's equilibrium, no? Equilibrium. And we have very powerful uh, temples for equilibrium. One mm -hmm. of them is in Chavín de Huantar, in the center of the stars, in, uh, mm -hmm. in the center of, of Peru. And mm -hmm. another temple of the center of the stars is here in England, in Ireland. It's called New Grange. Okay. So these temples, they teach you to be in your center. So mm -hmm. when you are in your center, you don't mm -hmm. doubt. You are sure of who you are mm -hmm. and where you are and where are you going so you don't get lost you don't get depressed nothing mm. you accept the challenge of facing life always from love always from munai always from a peace mm. always from a place of light and if there is no light you bring the light to there to share mm. so um, i want to share a little song this, this uh, little silvato ocarina uh-huh it's Ocarina is a little, this little bird is uh, from Moche Chimu temples in the north of Peru, and uh -huh. they have sounds to activate. So we'll see what happens. Okay. <laughs> Hmm. The sound is not hearing. No. Hmm. Okay. Maybe because of the um, sometimes the sound produces a uh, echo and that closes sometimes. Maybe oh. I need a different microphone. Maybe. Thank you for telling. Yeah. Okay. No worries. I Fine. had a lot of instruments, but maybe next yeah. time. Yeah. That we can listen. I think. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Hmm. Yes. So that is how we are um, in the. Um, Tawaintisuyu is the name of all the countries which comprehend Peru, Bolivia, mm. Chile, mm. Ecuador, Colombia, Argentina, Uruguay, mm. Brazil. Mm. 
Mm. So it's in parts of Venezuela. So it's a huge, huge place that it was Tawantinsuyu. So this name is our original name. And then they created these other names, but energetically talking, mm -hmm. this name corresponds because um, why we talk about language and energetics because the mm. language of energy is called light language. And this is very much used now in many other um, spiritual places like the Arturians, like the Lemurians, like the Andromedans, mm. like the Syrians, like the, all of this. Yeah. So we are coming to this, play, this time where we're recognizing that energy is mm. not only, it doesn't come from only the head. It's a connection between the head and the heart through the throat and it creates vibration and the vibration creates energy. Yes. And uh, mm -hmm. how, how a person starts his or her shamanic journey? What is the process? If somebody wants to learn shamanism, what is the journey? Yeah, well, come to Peru. <laughs> we uh -huh. are doing a retreat in, in November if you want to come and learn, uh, mm -hmm. for example, to become What is the first step uh, in that? How, how they get into it? What is the first step? Well, the first step is that you should feel it in your heart, mm -hmm. uh, not because somebody tells you, but you yourself should really feel the call because it's a beautiful job. But uh, I mean, not it's not a job; it's a it's mm. a path. It's a path, a path. of life it's a that passion. you should. Yeah, it's a yeah, but it's also it's a passion, but it's also a very big responsibility because you're mm -hmm. gonna be healing people's lives. No, it's a lot of commitment. Sometimes you have to leave your own family to travel to so many different places. So. Mm -hmm. You have to really um, have the fall in love with your job, basically. So much that you don't care about time or where you have to go. You have to leave everything behind. It can be dangerous as well because it's energies, but so it's what fascinating. Is the danger, what is the danger in it? Just to know. Uh, the danger is because uh, sometimes, you know, if you are healing somebody who is has very strong illness or maybe some strong magic, and if mm. you don't have the knowledge or you don't know how to face it, mm -hmm. this person can die, no? And then how you're gonna feel, or you can get ill as well, and maybe you can die. So, okay. so mm. it's it's like any profession, I guess. And then you know if you are gonna be capable of holding it, you should know. That's mm. why sometimes people who are shamans, they, we also read, no? The energies you can read with coca leaves, for example, in the Peruvian tradition. You see, and then you think, I'm gonna mm. consult my. Um, a spirit guides if I should heal you or not because maybe it's a very delicate or maybe I'm going to call people who are upper than me who know yeah. more than I know and yeah. then I get an advice and they said maybe you need some help no maybe if we come yeah. two more people we help you and we're gonna go for it so it's a very big commitment but usually they say also that the spirits the the, for example, if you want to become a shaman of the ayahuasca or wachuma, which is a very sacred cactus from the from the desert, mm -hmm. then the plant comes in your dream and mm. chooses you, tells you, you should do this work. And then once you are chosen, all the teachers or the possibilities will start to build up in your path. It will come naturally without you forcing it mm. because that it's for you. That is the of a shaman. It's a natural process. If you are meant to be in that path, it will naturally come to you. Yes, yes. And also you will leave everything behind. For example, mm -hmm. me, I'm an ethnomusicologist. I was teaching in a university already mm -hmm. and also a musician. And mm -hmm. the plant came to me and said to me, you have to drop everything you are doing and just choose one thing. Mm -hmm. And you will be good at it. Yeah. And I said, okay, I choose the plants, you know. And uh, it was a little bit of shock for so many people, including my teachers, because... I studied so many years to become a teacher on university and then leave everything behind mm. to be a shaman full time. Mm -hmm. But then my life became much simpler because I dedicated myself only to one thing mm. and I'm happy with it. But it's a choice. Yeah. And um, a very inspiring, inspiring speech, you know. <laughs> Thank you. So I think I think we should listen one of your songs. Then we can further mm -hmm. listen. You should sing a song with that drum. Yeah. I think shamanic drum I is, can is, is yes. yeah, shamanic drum. I'll do it very quickly and you tell me if the sound comes, okay? Yeah. No. No. Ah, now it is coming. Los abuelitos. 
Mm. Y sin antigua, los abuelitos vienen para curar, para sanar, vienen para curar, para sanar. Con las tres poderosa con las tres de la selva poderosa viene para curar para sanar para curar para sanar para curar para Ayahuasca, cura, 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 the song is uh, okay, but uh, some of the sound was breaking, but it is okay. We understand. Ah, it. Okay. Maybe your okay. mic has some issues. It's fine. I, I have this, um, I have a computer with a proper mic because as a musician, I have everything. But the problem today, I didn't have uh, somebody to help me to connect it. So I'm just using my uh, mobile. Yeah. Speaking, is very, speaking is very clear. It's fine. Okay. Great. Yeah. Please continue. So, tell, uh, tell us more yeah. about the journey. Yeah, please, please. So there are so many ways to, to become, to, to learn this healing, but it's very important that it's authentic because this is an, a spiritual path. It's not just a, any job that you go get trained and then go and work. It's yeah. not about learning from here. It's about learning from here. Mm -hmm. And also, um, because it's an, a spiritual path, some people have the gift because it's like being a mother, no? You're mm. going to heal people who are really ill. You have to have love for everybody, like a mother who looks after you. Mm. <laughs> Commitment. Mm. But there are so many, many parts of the shamanism as well this way. There are the neo-shamanism, which can is you more, tell, can more you modern, tell us, no? Can you tell us the parts of shamanism, like what all parts are there? And uh, uh, more about more about shamanic, you know practices of shamanism like like in if, if in in every path when you start yes. journey you have to do practice and then realize and then build up energy from those practice and then you share it so how yes. shamanism yeah how shamanism do the practices and how they raise the energy and how they share it well, usually, well, how I started, I started like the old school in a way, no, because uh, mm. many of my teachers have died already and they were very strict as well. Uh, they keep mm. the uh, very ancestral teachings, Inca, pre Inca, Moche Chimu. Mm -hmm. And uh, how you start is helping around, you know, you, you, you become a helper of the shaman for the first okay. years. Because mm -hmm. also the shaman is not going to give you all his secrets to you just because you appear in his universe. He mm. has to watch you whether mm. you are worthy of receiving these gifts because they okay. are very valuable gifts. Mm. Some of them, they're magic as well. They're not only learning from the head. So they see also your compromise. So you learn around, sometimes singing, sometimes mm. um, maybe doing little jobs, and then you start mm. to learn. So how I teach now, because I was a teacher, I told you, so mm. I adapt sometimes 10 years of experience and I can give it to you in one week because then I, I do... I put everything in a package quickly for you to learn, and then we concentrate on the experience. Yeah. Once you have the experience to learn, then if you come to Peru, because also involves pilgrimage, you have to go to the Apus to 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 put prayers so that the Apus, the sacred spirits, they give you the power, they give mm. you the the connection, because you can mm. sing the song even better than the shaman maybe, but there is no connection. It has to be yes. connection. Mm -hmm. And if you are from the jungle, for example, it's, um, you have to do dieta. So you go to the jungle and you learn directly from the spirit of the plant. So, for example, if you learn from Chihuahua, who is the biggest tree of the jungle, you diet this tree for three months. Mm -hmm. There is a very big of no, you cannot eat, no sugar, no salt, no 
not even internet, no mm. telephone, nothing. You are in a little room and you just drink this plant and only you have a banana, green banana, mm. roasted, mm. no oil, and mm. a salad, and uh, that's it, and just water and singing. Mm. And then the plant, after one week, you disprogram yourself all the food, but also the head and the heart, and you become so connected with nature that the plant herself will come and teach to you, and it will confront you first, your fears, no? why you lie, why you exaggerate, because you have to become a pure channel. Then you mm. are not even, it's not me who is singing, it's the tree who is singing through me. And that's the difference between a true healer, Icaro, Moraya. Moraya, mm. after you, after seven years of training to become a, a, a true shaman of ayahuasca, for example, then you learn another three, four years of Moraya, no? And these are given to you. There are not many morayas now. There are very, very few. They, they, you don't have to drink nothing. Just mm. as they sing a song for you and you are healed. You can go home <laughs> healed mm. in five minutes. <laughs> yeah. So but these powers, only very few people have it. And um, so this is how they learn. And then I think many people, and this goes in all the careers, you learn through practice, through walking. And uh, that's why when we say, I can learn through a book, I can read a lot, but if I don't walk it, it's mm. only here. But then if I walk it, then you know how to go up a mountain, if it was cold. How, and your experience may be very different from the person who wrote the book. Yes, you know? yes, yes. Yes, this is you. you I, can, I can see that you are a very experiential person. Like you can guide people. Maybe we will organize some programs with you in Peru in, in near future. Yeah. Like I will bring some authentic people to Peru and we all organize uh -huh. something and uh, we will see how it works. Yes. And there's also another one, Rape, for example. I will show you. That one doesn't have a sound, so it will come. Yes. So Rape is this one, this pipe. Uh -huh. And then it goes here in the nostril. Uh -huh. One. And then yes. this rapé is a medicine from Brazil, for example, and it's a okay. called polvos magicos. Mm. And this rapé, you put in your hand, you put a prayer, you connect mm. with the mm. spirit of the jungle, then you put together, mm. and then you blow in the nostril. First okay. one is for death. And then mm. you go to the second one, that's mm. for life. Okay. But for this also, you need initiation. So I've been doing yeah. these initiations here in uh, London. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing how it helps to people to clear the head, to just calm mm -hmm. down. <sighs> silence. So when you are in silence and then you clean the energies. So it's like you don't have to go all the way for big experience. You can start with little steps and then mm -hmm. see and you think, aha. Uh -huh, maybe i do like this actually it's for me and yeah. then you go for more and then you go for more and yeah. every time you you can become better but yeah. also they say in the jungle or in the andes that it comes from a lineage you know it's like um from yeah. family lineage yeah. so it's when it comes from a lineage is stronger the path of the shaman as well yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm. thank you so much mm. Yeah, I have a guitar as well. Maybe the guitar can hear. Let's see. You play and I will tell you. Yes, yes, yes. It is. Okay, I'll do a song for you. Mm -hmm. I think I think your voice is not huh? we can we can listen your voice while you are singing. I don't understand. Uh, it's what. breaking the voice, it's no, breaking. when I sing. Yeah, Maybe it, I think what happens with the microphones is they can only take one instrument. Ah, so if it's the voice you sing. Maybe you can sing. No, just no no instruments. Okay. Okay, no instrument, okay, but you can sing. Okay. Ooh. 
Come and teach me how you blossom. The flowers of your love with the light of Father's sun. I have come to them to drink the medicine of your wisdom in the sacred gardens of child wales. Mother medicine, medicine is pachamama. Mother medicine, medicine is mother water. Mother medicine. Medicine is ayahuasca, mother medicine. Medicine is my mother. Añay, causay, canchay, puyay. <laughs> Can you hear it? Yes, yes. Very nice. Song. Good, good. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. I'll send you my link as well if people want to listen. Sure, I have sure. a lot of song for the mother. I will share it, will share huh? it in my yeah. group also so that people can come to know about your work. You are mm -hmm. a very authentic shaman. And how Thank is you. shaman connected with animals and birds? They have a lot of connection with it. They even speak with animals. They yes. keep very exotic animals as their pets. So do you have an experience like that? How is that journey? Oh, I have wakamaya in front of my house. Huge. You know, wakamaya is a huge parrot. Mm -hmm. So basically for us it's natural because we, and we come from the jungle. We are with animals all the time. <laughs> but okay. um, how a shaman can connect with the... Basically, we have to have an um, animal of power. We call animal mm -hmm. of power, no? Who protects you? For, for for example, I'm protected with wakamaya. Okay. So who protects you, no? Mm. So uh, usually shamans, they have different animals who protect you. The jaguar is one of them. But mm. then we have the serpent, which is the anaconda, very huge. She's mm. a goddess of the jungle. Mm -hmm. But also there are other, other animals as well. For example, mm. here in England, the, uh, the magpie, the black uh also black bird uh but in the Andes we have the condor the hummingbird mm. so this animal will mm. come in your dreams it will show up as well in the dream so mm. the animal chooses you to to protect you but mm. also when you are dancing with your steps you will make the figure of the animal who is your protector and then oh. we teach you things different songs for every animal no for the jaguar for example or mm -hmm. even when you blow this one as well, you have an animal. So this uh -huh. was a jaguar, for example. Okay. So you, the sound that comes, but then the more that you practice this sound, the animal will come and will give you its power to you. So this okay. power is given to you. Then you tattoo with uh, ink from seeds in your face, mm -hmm. the energy of jaguar, for example, I can do in my face and then I'm a jaguar. Mm -hmm. And then when I'm healing, the jaguar is with me all around me, um, mm. healing you. And because in the jungle, we believe that the, there is no illness. There is no name for illness. All mm. illnesses are called heavy energy. Yeah. So this heavy energy enters your body when you are weak or when you are afraid or when you are sad. Mm. So if I am afraid or I am sad, energy will enter me. So for the energy not to enter, I put tattoo, I put feather, I have my mm. animals of power. And I have a special belt. I have my clothing as well. This clothing mm. has embroidery from the jungle. So I'm all mm. protected. So the energy will not enter me. I can approach you. I can touch you. I can heal you. Plus I have my animals of power. Yes. It is like a protection shield for you. And a teacher as well. Because sometimes it will come the... 
for example, the Yana Puma, the mm -hmm. Black Panther, Puma. we call Puma, the yes. Puma, mm -hmm. he teaches you invisibility because the only moment you see the eye of the of him is when he opens his eyes or he, mm -hmm. no? mm -hmm. so he keeps invisible. Mm -hmm. That's why many of the shamanic ceremonies are done in darkness yeah. because it requires courage, humbleness, mm -hmm. and when you are humble, you tell the truth. To the mystery, to the great mystery, mm -hmm. to the source, you're not gonna go there with lies, no, because he can see everything through you. Yes. So, yeah. but also the Yanapuma teaches you to be quiet and to have a look who is in front of you, mm -hmm. and then you know who is who, no? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes, yeah. they are we teachers. Have... All of these yes. animals. Yes, we have mm -hmm. eight more, seven more minutes remaining. You can okay. Hey. We talking for seven more minutes and then we can wind up it was an amazing experience you are a Thank experienced you. teacher and we want mm. to experience that more in future too yeah thank you i just want to teach everybody if they are still there mm -hmm. you can every day in the morning when you wake up you can say greetings to mother moon father son pachamama mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. before you eat before you do nothing because Remember, we have the day thank you to Father Son. So mm -hmm. four leaves. One represents the the past, the ancestors, Unku mm -hmm. The second represents Kai Pacha, this dimension, and is represented by the jaguar because you need to be present. Mm -hmm. And the third represents the higher dimension, the stars. Oh. It's represented mm -hmm. by Grandfather Condor. And the mm -hmm. fourth is the Hawak Pacha. It's mm -hmm. the universe, the eye of the universe that sees everything. Mm. So with these four leaves, you present yourself with any leaf in India that you have, and you go to this to the to the sacred mountain, and you say, "I am this. I am your daughter. Thank you, Mother Earth. Thank you, beautiful river. Thank you, Father Sun." And then you put your prayer and you put your breath, <sighs> and then mm. you can give this these leaves to a tree or to mm -hmm. a stone because they are alive. They are mm. also our companions in this journey on the earth. Yes. And this I share is Inca code healing. Everybody can do it. And the more that we do it, mm -hmm. we are calling a connection with Mother Earth, with all that's alive, mm -hmm. and they will look after us. Mm -hmm. Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. So mm. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. Do you have any do you have any questions to ask? Yeah, I love India. I want to come to India. <laughs> yes, please come. We have this Tundra Festival uh, ah. next February 24 to 26. Yes. Tundra is our traditional uh, subject from Hinduism. Yes. And uh, it, it starts many, many thousands of years before. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's, it has its own shamanic path. So I am yes. I, I learned Tandra from our my own family tradition when I why I start my journey when I was five. Uh, uh -huh. we have our own temples at home and all. So mm. I am a in, in the name of Tandra, many things happen in this universe. But we uh -huh. practice traditional Tandra in West and all in the name of Tandra, many abusive systems are happening. But yes. we, are into, we are into traditional Tandra, which was started by Shiva and uh, the mother goddess itself. We consider mm -hmm. the nature itself as mother. And yes. uh, we teach the path of mother goddess, like worshipping the mother, worshipping yes. uh, all women we consider as a, a glimpse of that mother goddess itself. You know. Oh, that's that really journey. beautiful. Yeah, that is the journey. And uh, we give initiations, we we make the temple visit happen, you know, mm -hmm. we, we give uh, explanation about the scriptures. Uh, yes. Like, like, we don't go too much into theory, but it will be more, more of a practical, experiential journey of four days. Yes. This is how we take it. So, like, any people who don't have any knowledge about Sanskrit or scriptures, they can come, they can experience, they can heal themselves, and they can go back with a great memory. So, this is what oh, we do. Yeah. Beautiful. That, yeah. that drum that I was showing you, it has a Glastonbury of England. Mm -hmm. So, it has uh -huh. the woman, you know, the, the, the woman, the uh -huh. old woman, and the young lady. And yeah. we have here the family. 
feminine and the masculine, and then the middle is the child. Mm. So it is coming back this time to honor the feminine. And I'm really happy that you are doing this in India. We have very deep respect for your spirituality. They are very ancient temples. Yes. The same with uh, Peru, with uh, Inca, pre-Inca. We have very mm -hmm. powerful there as well goddesses, the Mamacao Mecherec from the Chimu Moche, where we're going to do the retreat in November. So mm -hmm. if you want to come and learn how to become a healer there. We will, there, we we will think about now, but them. if not, for sure, in near future, we will keep in touch. And Raquel also yeah. want to learn more about shamanism. Of course, we will mm -hmm. try to meet you, Asuras, and then let's see how things go. Aho, sister, brother. Thank you Thank to you all so the beautiful so people who are there. God we send you so Lord. much love. Thank you so and much. let's all put our hearts for a, opening a new time yes. of the earth for summa causa. That means to live in equilibrium. We mm -hmm. live in equilibrium. We don't believe in uh, government minds. We believe in a time of ah. holding with mm. love the beautiful earth, our mother earth, together as brothers and sisters. We are all children of the earth. We are all children of Pachamama. We are mm. all children of the sun, of the moon, and of love. Thank yes. you. Anya. That's a great message. Thank you so much. We are winding up now. Thank you, Sophia. Thank you so much. Thank you. For the great journey. Namaste. Thank you so much. Namaste. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you. Namaste. Om Shanti. Om Shanti.